Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are you? Uh, I'm really in the mood to paint. No blooms today. Um, going old school. I have made up eight colors and enough paint. This will be a multiple painting video. I made up enough colors, I think, for at least two 10 by 20s and maybe just a smidgen more for like a little five by five or something. We'll see how it goes. Cause you know me, if I'm not happy, I'm gonna scrape. And then there goes all the paint. So <laughs> this is my last commission piece too. So I'm all caught up. If you're interested, give me a shout at waterfallacrylics at gmail.com. Let me get you down. Okay guys, this is another commission piece. Um, an ombre pour. Man, I haven't done one of these in a year. I went back and I'm like, I know I've done this before and it's been a year since my last one. So um, I had a gal request something. She wanted a little more purple in it. And my, I got, I have eight colors plus white. <laughs> I went a little insane. So I have titanium white. Let me show you all the colors while I talk about it. The pouring medium recipe because it's basically just glue and water. It's 65% glue, 35% water. And I give that a good mix and mix it up in my quart thingy here. And then add it to my colors. And it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And then I augment it with a little bit of water. When I say a little bit, usually about a teaspoon or less. So real quick review of all of these colors. I don't know if I need both shades of these pink because they're awfully similar. So real quick, these are all Amsterdam colors except one. So we've got the titanium white and then we have Amsterdam. This is permanent blue violet followed by ultramarine violet. Is it light or just regular? Just regular ultramarine violet. And then we have the blue here is greenish blue. These are all still Amsterdam. And then the other blue is the manganese blue hue. And then we have some turquoise green. This is the only one that's not Amsterdam. This is Liquitex Basics in Crinacridone Magenta. The other light pink goes back to Amsterdam, the permanent... Um, red violet light and then finally some amsterdam azo uh, yellow medium so those are all the colors let me move all of my tubes out of my way and this is going to be a straight pour and i'll show you my consistency let me pick a good color where you can see maybe this blue here so when i drizzle the paint I get a little bit of a mound that lasts about a second and that's it. All of my colors have two drops of my spot on treadmill silicone. You can't even read that. I think I clean that off and I'm going to give those a mix. I'm going to layer them into my measuring cup here and do a straight pour. I made some extra white to put on the edges to help things flow and we're going to go dark to light so let me just give these these have been sitting a couple minutes because my phone rang so i'm going to do just a quick little mix i guess i'll use this since i made it um there and i'm giving it another mix because the silicone rises to the top. It's lighter than the paint and rises up and sits on the top and then makes the dreaded caterpillars. If you don't know what caterpillars are, I don't like them. Some people like them. They are a string of cells that are attached together that can either look like a male body part or a caterpillar. And I like my cells to be separate. So for that reason, We're gonna make sure, you don't wanna mix it in. You like, don't beat the silicone in cause you'll break it all up and then you'll get speckle cells instead of bigger ones like dime size or nickel size cells. 
All right, all mixed up. We've got my white. We're gonna start with a little bit of that on the bottom. So, and then we're just gonna go in order from darkest to lightest. I, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna pour it down the side or drizzle. I think I'm gonna drizzle. Yep. So there's one purple. I feel like I'll be here all day drizzling. Maybe I do good on the sides. Too late now, because this is gonna have a different look. And I like this because I want a little bit of overlap with the colors, just a little bit. So we're gonna roll with this. Otherwise, see that that greenish blue will touch the dark purple just to get some different color cells, hopefully. That's my thinking. I'm sticking to it. There's the green. I put that between the two layers of the blue. I might do that with the, the two pinks and the yellow. And... Yeah, so here's the darker pink. And yeah, let's put the yellow in between the two pinks just to break them up a little bit. Oh my gosh, they look so pretty together. So there's the yellow. Did I get all the colors? Let me make sure I got all the colors. And then finally, the light pink. And then some white. And then we're just going to pour this straight down the middle of this canvas and see how it goes. All right, we ready? Let's do it. We'll start here because I'm a lefty. I'm going to pour a lot of white up there first because... When I was watching that other video, there was um, too much white at the top. So I let some roll off on purpose. And then come down to the bottom. So far, so good. So far, so good. And we'll just let this empty right there. I don't like that white too. I'm not so sure about that. I like how this blended in the middle more than anywhere else. I'm gonna take my little bit of leftover white. I don't need it anywhere, just on these skinny parts like here and here. Just to help it flow off, fly, oh, can't talk. Flow off the sides of the canvas. So I'm gonna tilt this first. I don't like that one cell. I like it when there's no cells because I want to torch for cells where I want them and I want to boss them around. But we're gonna go maybe a little this way, a little this way, and then side to side. And then um, we'll give a torch and then tilt some more. So I'm just gonna go well, look at me already beelining for the one corner. We'll do that real corner real quick. We seem like we have enough paint. And we'll come back over to this other corner. It's a 10 by 20 canvas, so it's, you know, not very wide, so it's easy to reach the corner. I have a bikini corner there. We'll leave it live for a second. Let's bring the weight of the paint back to the middle and then come down and then go off these other sides. So go off here. We've got a big eye in the middle. And we'll go off here. We've got like a white cloud thing going on, but I think when I 
torch. I'm coming back up for that bikini corner or just to minimize it a little bit. I want to leave a little bit of paint to stretch out the cells and tilt, but I'm going to get rid of that one, at least one of the bikini corners and then come down. And, hmm, so I got that eye right there. You see it? Let's, let's be brave and take him off too. Or at least put him on the side. Save a little paint. We'll do that and stretch him out like that. Wipe off my fingers. Let's give this a torch. See what it looks like underneath. Little chicken torch on the edges. It's what I like to do just to see what the cells look like. Pop some bubbles. Is that way you can tilt them off. But they're growing and they're really pretty. So we're going to go for it and just kind of go back and forth kind of lightly. And give, oh, maybe some up here. And then give it a second. I'm going to torch in this white for sure. And let's just give that a second. It's a little too white there for me. I have enough paint that if I hate it, I will go again. Um, these are tricky to do. What you really wanted to see that I got in the middle, but not so much everywhere else, is I got too much um, white here. But I really like this purple to blue green section, how the colors blended. I don't like how this is like a hard line where it turned into the pink. And I like how I have like blue cells and everything here. So I think how I layered was fine. But I think I could do a better job on this one. I do. You know, when they're, when they're commissions, you want it to be you always want it to be great. I don't know what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like you, you just like get a little bit paranoid. Like, oh, it's got to be really good. Um, yeah, I don't like that hard line. And I don't like all the white at the bottom. Taking some paint. The cells are great. They're on the smaller side. And that's because my mix is thicker. So the glue is like holding them together. But the shape of them, they got the rings within the rings. They're gorgeous. Um, kind of interesting. I like got a sun thing going up in the corner and I don't like this. Let me just stare a second. Wipe off my fingers. See if I want to keep it or not. I have enough paint. I made up enough paint to go, to go again because, um, I figured if I got it right on the first shot, I would just make a second painting and that way I would have paint left over. Um, like this stuff here, man, I just don't like this. I probably should have torched more in there now because that helps it blend. And oh my gosh, getting really pretty cells. But they're gonna be small now because I've tilted the paint and in here too. I just kinda wanna see if I wanna keep it and grab another canvas. Or if it's a goner. Just seeing the colors. Yeah, I really, really love the blending in here and up here. Like had to have like the red yellow that, that that made orange right here with the blue cells on top. That's fantastic. I'm gonna go again. I'm just gonna use that same cup that has a little bit of um, color and white on the top of it. And I think I'll leave that. That'll be my bottom. And we're just gonna go again real quick. Yep, and we'll just use this um, as our base. So we're gonna go again with the purple and we're gonna wiggle it on. Let some other colors peek through. Lighter purple. The blue green color. I think 
I put green in between the two blues. Did I? I think I did. Yeah, that looked great. I'm going to do that again. All right, just about killed that off. And then the other blue. And then what? Go to the dark pink. Mm. I'm trying to debate whether I want to see this is good because I can look so last time I put the yellow between the two pinks um, and it made like an orange color I think I'm going to go and do it the traditional ombre and we'll do the two pinks on top of each other this is risky and then the yellow and then the white and we'll do a whole bunch of yellow I think I made just enough paint for, for uh, two paintings. So this will be do or die for sure. And then a little bit of the white, if I have any left. I only need like a little bit. I'm gonna have to scrape my cup. If you can't see, I'm just scraping my cup to get out the rest of the white. Just layering a little bit of that in. That's gonna come out first, so. I don't want too, too much of it. And there's like some weird string. Go away. All right, a little splash of white. And yep, that's gonna come off on top. And here we go again. Oh, I see the difference. You know what I should do is just not do a traveling pour and just pour because the colors blend better. They do. I got the yellow all the way down now. But some of that's going to come off. See in the middle there? Like the colors just blended much better. But let's see what we get so we're definitely gonna tilt again we need to get down to that bottom so let's slide on all right my phone cut out because it rang so i hope i didn't lose uh too much of the video so there there it is and let's continue tilting um and spreading this out and we'll see see what the take two looks like Come off the edge, plenty of paint there. And then let's take all of this pretty pur purple blue stuff up the other end. And come off, I'm gonna take that white off. I'm gonna maybe leave a little that one little spot and then come back and there's going to be plenty of paint on here to work with so just let me get to this other corner and then come back down well we'll leave it we'll leave a little bit because i need i need to um be able to tilt oh my gosh the colors are great all right, wipe off my fingers again. I forget that I can wear gloves. Um, I don't wear gloves when I'm bloom because they get so dirty so fast. Um, but I definitely could do them for the traditional pores and I just forget. All right, let's give this a torch. Did I, is that a cell here? That's a cell, I thought maybe I uh, spilled something there. That big blue cell. I'm just gonna wiggle back and forth with my torch kind of fast. And some in here in the middle. Definitely some up here. Love the pink cells. Um, 
in the yellow and the blue cells in the pink. Don't mind the white ones. Let's put some in here. This is so pretty blended, I'm not gonna torch it. This corner is like the rainbow corner. I don't think I wanna mess with it, it's so pretty. Even though it's not, ex well, I'm gonna shut up because it's really pretty, but it doesn't go, that corner doesn't go at that end, it should be up here. Just letting those cells grow a second. We're gonna put some more along this edge here. And this part with the doesn't want to sew up. And there we got a couple more blue ones. And some in here. That worked out good. There I've got my purple cells. Don't like that spot. I don't know, it's right in the middle. I might not be able to do anything about it. But on the other hand, I'm really liking the um, dark pink, um, like little waves going into the white, the light pink. Can't talk today. All right, let's give this a, a tilt. And I am gonna tilt off the white and maybe this corner and then decide the fate of this corner. So let's just take, kind of wiggle back and forth. Give it a wiggle, wiggle off the white. Good. Bring the weight of the paint down to the other end a little bit. Wiggle, wiggle. Uh, it looks like the pink will have to live, but the other part doesn't. See the bend I'm getting right there? So let's bring that all back. Cells are holding their shape. And I might have to live with this one yellow corner. We'll see. My paint was on the thicker side. That's why the cells are holding their shape. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it off. See the cells are starting to lose their shape a little bit and I'm like forcing it, I'm almost there and off and let me go back the other way and see if I can get those cells to like retain their shape. Like we just went this way lady. We were there, oh yeah they are. See they're getting their shapes back. That's good. They're separated. We got the ombre thing going on. Looking good. I got one little pink corner, which in the grand scheme of doing these and getting it to go from dark to light, I will take it. And she wanted more purple, and I think I succeeded in that. And I actually don't mind. I don't need all of my cells to be perfectly round. That's that's a perp, I can't talk today. I don't know what my deal is. Um, personal preference. I like them, to, um, I like how these are going in different directions. It looks really cool. Let me stare. I have one corner that needs coverage. Let me look everywhere else. Another one, I can just put it on with my spoon. I'm glad I went again. And yeah, I got rid of like the white that was in the other one. I don't think I want to torch anymore because I think it has plenty of cells and I like being able to see the background very much. My favorite thing when I get you guys down is um, the dark magenta with the blue cells and they got the darker blue rings around them. Super, super pretty. Yeah, I'm saying ta-da and uh, let me wash my hands and... Uh, touch up my corners and get you guys down for a close-up but that's pretty cool that's a winner for me be right back hey guys before I go I thought I didn't want to waste all the stuff that I tilted off um, quite colorful little tarp there so what I did was scrape it or with my um, spatula into a cup it's not really muddy yet so what I thought I'd do is just do a little pour, see what happens 
on this little hexagon tile, I have two cups that just for giggles, we're just gonna put one, we'll see how muddy it looks. Yeah, that's, that's not very good. These might be a goner and have to go into the recycling can, but I just wanted to see real quick. Yeah, a little too muddy for me right there. Oh, that's a shame. Let me see what's left in this one. Waste not, want not. I'm gonna try to get something out of the leftovers. This is what was left over in the cup and there's not gonna be enough of it. So let's just spread this around and use, look how pretty that is on the inside. Um, spread this around and we'll use it as a base. So all the stuff that's on my tarp will get scraped up and squeezed into a paint can. And then I make my poor husband go and uh, I'll recycle it. Oh, there's my kettle for my tea. Let me turn that off. And yeah, it's like cool and rainy here today. Um, earlier this morning, um, there was like a supercell of rain and there is a um, clap of thunder that was above my hometown that was so loud. It was heard from like 30 miles away. Like I thought a bomb had gone off at the airport or something because we're not too far from an airport. And it was so, so loud um, that everyone was like, what was that? And um, some people saw the bolt of lightning. I only heard the clap of thunder and then it poured, like it poured for about six minutes. And then that was the end of the show. I'm just gonna stick my cup there. So I'm just coloring off all these leftover colors. I'm not necessarily doing it in ombre um, order or anything. This is just, just a little bonus. Let's see what we get. You can't get over how colorful my tarp is. With the paint, so I'm just grabbing whatever comes into my hand, whatever's closest. And maybe we'll flip cup it. I don't know. There's all the yellow. Yep, I'll just kill off all the paint. And what else we got? What's this? We got some pink. Don't have any more white, so no white. This was the cup of white. And what's in this cup? Some blue. I'll just do like a little carnival flip cup. I'm still, uh, I'm really, really happy with the ombre pour, which um, some of my artist friends, fellow YouTubers, content creators, Tease me that I never do black base. You know who you are. <laughs> so I'm staring at that ombre pour thinking that would be really cool to have a black base ombre pour. So I might have to do that. What do you think? If you like that idea, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll give it a go. Just taking a mini break from Bloom stuff. Um, I want to do a couple Dutch pours. I want to do a couple cloud pours. That's a dark blue. Do I have anything left? Ah, uh, some purple. And is that it? Let me look. Empty, 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 empty. Oh, some light pink. Nope, that's empty. Yellow's gone. Light purple's gone. I think that's it. Yeah. All right, that killed off all the colors. Let's just give it a little flip cup. Just for giggles. Oh my gosh. How'd I do that? Again, forgot the gloves. 
big old bubble there. I'm not gonna wait too long. I'm impatient. Let's move this other paint out of the way. And let's lip it. Get some rainbow colors going. Get rid of some of the uh, purple there. Ooh, I like the colors. Just scraping the cup. Get some lighter colors because the, this this cup did have the white in it. I'll just use that to spread around. Something like that. And we'll give this a tilt first. Open it up a bit and see what the colors look like. No. Gotta watch all. This is this is like my nightmare. Because <laughs> I hate bikini corners and this has six sides. <laughs> like, oh, go away. <laughs> oh, good grief. They're bound to happen when you have six sides. Oh my gosh. Okay. So like you, little pink. <laughs> There's no escaping them. I don't know why I find that so funny. Okay. There. Oh yeah. You. No. No bikini corner there. <laughs> Let me take off some of this pink. It's a little too much for me. All right. We'll, we'll leave it like that. I lost my uh, quickie cutter in the middle here. Let me scoot him back over. Make sure I'm in the middle for you guys. <laughs> Pretty colors. Oh gosh, you guys can't even probably see anything because there's so much um, color on the tarp. And I really need to get it into my paint can. Let me see if I can, if this helps any. It's gonna stain. We can move it out of my way. Does that help any? Let me look in the camera, kinda, sorta. We'll just do this. Yeah, so this is stuff that'll get recycled. There's that. I'll do it here too. I don't know if that's better or worse. It seems better to me. Um, I don't know if that's an awful lot of uh, magenta. Let's give this a torch, see what happens. Tons of bubbles in it too. Let's get some cells there, something in this plain area, something in this plain area, see what comes up, some up here, and maybe that corner. Uh, kind of like that stripe a lot. This looks like a planet orbiting the sun or something, like I don't know, that looks very spacey to me. Lots of great colors underneath the paint though, right? Let me let that sit a second and we're just gonna like tilt off the edges a bit. Yeah, like here, because that's like really busy. Here's a little busy. We'll keep some of these nicer big cells in the middle. And uh, I don't know, You might. I might need a little more. Let's see if I can do this super fast, just like that. Give that a second to grow. All right, let's give it a tilt. Little bonus, bonus pour. And so I don't like this corner. See how it looks like a bikini corner? Like there's the bikini bottoms. All you need is a leg here and a leg here. And there's a little bikini. That's what I mean by bikini corners for those who hear me say that and like, what the hell is she talking about? That's it, that's the bikini bottoms. You have a leg here and a leg there, and I don't like them. <laughs> They're not my, not my thing. So I'm gonna take them off. This is harder to hold because there's no like sides or anything. So, oh yeah, there's no sides. So I definitely gotta get rid of some paint anyway. So let's give it to the first bikini corner. There, swing the paint up. Can you see it moving? There it goes. And then put it back in the middle, the way to the paint back in the middle. And then let's get rid of the other, the other bikini corner. I'm trying to hold it by the little edges. 
and get rid of that one. Oh yeah, see, that's just, that's way nicer without them. And then let's go over to this third, <laughs> this third side. This is cracking me up and get rid of just this doesn't really bother me as much it's just that um there's too many cells right there it's like a little too busy for me so oh my gosh this is just a happy little piece though this one's making me smile it's just so happy so i'm gonna wiggle down paint's slowing down now so it might take me a minute we'll let it go slow don't beeline, don't do this. Go stair step it when you're tilting. Stair step it, take your time, go slow. Go slow. You'll get there, there's no rush. Enjoy the process. Almost there, and then we're gonna head back the other way because some of the cells are straightening out a little bit or getting elongated, so Let's just take them back the same way we came. And they're like, oh, thank God. I felt like I was on the uh, stretcher bar being tortured. <gasps> what do we think of that one? That's super cute, right? I don't like those cells right there. Hold on. <laughs> Cracking myself up. Um, yeah, who knew hexagons would be kind of tough? Like too many sides. <sighs> Let me see if I can just get, just the yellow ones have to die. They gotta go, bye-bye. Cause they got, they got like, for whatever reason, they got that weird shade of green. Kind of like when you mix um, black and yellow and you get that green color. It wasn't quite that bad, but it was heading that direction. And anytime, oh, look at that. It came right back up. <gasps> you little SOB, you're going off. I'm the boss, bye. Hold on. There we go. I saw a drip onto my uh, tarp, so I know it's gone. It kind of opened up the middle a bit too, so it's not so busy. All right, do I have any more bikini corners or any weird things I don't like? No, can you guys see it? And then there's like a reflection. Let me move him over to the um, other counter where the ombre pours hanging out. But great little use out of uh, the leftover paint. Sorry that the stuff uh, on the tarp didn't work out. That kind of muddied up fast. Not sure why. Usually it holds its color a bit longer, but that's okay. We'll just recycle it. Yeah, I really like that. That's super pretty. Um, normally I bloom on the hexagon tiles. And so it's kind of fun to do um, a different technique on them. Really, really like that, actually. Really like that. All right, let me clean up for reels this time and get you down for reels. Be right back. Hey, guys, I'm back with the wet results, the close-up of this ombre pour. I turned off my light um, to reduce the glare from my pot light in the window. But this is the bottom of the canvas super 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 happy with the blending of the background these cells are just primo um, got the white ring with the purple and then the dark purple cells really really cool there's the one little corner that has a touch of pink it's adorable though with the one yellow cell I, you know what are you gonna do these are kind of tough to do to begin with so if that's my uh, only spot that isn't you know ultra perfect I'll take it if 90 85% of your painting or even 75% of your pour is great, go with it, I say. I love this, it looks like space to me. Um, coming up, getting lighter and lighter as we go. So now the cells are turning um, the white to the violet to the blue, to the light blue, all, and then it gets into the magenta area, all the way up into the yellow area super cool let me turn it around this way so you can see the whole thing up close super pretty right really really happy with how this turned out i'm not going to um, show you the dry results in this video today is tuesday i want to get a video up tomorrow on wednesday and 
I find that the glue and water pours take longer to dry than my blooms do. So I'm gonna put this under cover for a couple days and let it dry super slow. So you'll see the dry results uh, probably on the weekend instead. So there's that guy. And then this guy just makes me smile, the little hexagon. Super pretty, happy. I just wanna put it on the plate stand and put it on my bookcase. It's super cute. Um, you can also use plate hangers to hang these. Um, love all the different color cells in this one. And the background too, with the, um, the yellow and purple there with that magenta ring with the blue, so, so cool. Got rid of most of my bikini corners. <laughs> it was just giving me the giggles. So there's that guy. Um, he'll probably dry a little quicker, but I'll save both for the next video for you guys to see and uh, I gotta send pictures to my client and hopefully she's happy with this guy. So, yep, there they be. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let me flip around and say goodbye. What'd you guys think? Um, the big one is a commission, like I said, so that's gone. And I sent pictures of the little hexagon too girlfriend of mine and we're going to do a paint swap so that one's gone too unfortunately so that's good news <laughs> thanks for tuning in please like share and subscribe um please check out the fluid art experience um still have classes available me cause creations massey art studio mina of legas art sarah at sarah mac art <laughs> Um, I'm really looking forward to the buffet actually because we're gonna have a big Q&A session and get to mingle and you know meet everybody face to face that's gonna be a ton of fun I hope you guys can make it fluidartexperience.com the links in the description section I'm like all happy it's always good when you have a good paint day right you're like yay uh, anyway you guys take care I'll see you in a few days Peace and love to you all. Peace out.